What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, something that we as Madden players basically overlook and kind of miss the value of. Uh, today's video series that I'm going to be starting is all about getting back to the basics, getting back to back when you just first started playing Madden and, and, and this is all about helping you prepare for Madden 15 and uh, what I want to talk about today is the top five ways you can start improving right now for Madden 15. Um, number one is get an identity. First things first is the need to identify your game. For example, offense in Madden has two main purposes running and passing. Are you a run first team? Are you a pass first team? Defense, you can play coverage, you can play blitz, or you can play in a hybrid. But what you, you have a basic philosophy, you're either going to send heavy pressure, you're going to wait back in coverage, or you're going to do a little bit of both. And you, it, it, it's very important to, to identify those needs, identify those identities. Uh, for example, uh, if you are, say you're wanting to run heavy and you're using the Denver Broncos, kind of would suggest you use the Philadelphia Eagles or the Minnesota Vikings or teams like that that are more run-oriented offenses. Uh, or, for example, if you're using the Arizona Cardinals playbook and you want to be a heavy running team and that's all you want to do is you just run, 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 run every single time. Arizona Cardinals playbook is not exactly where you need to be if you want to be running heavy, uh, if you want to be a run-heavy team. Or is there a need to lab more runs or more pass concepts if you want to be a run-heavy team? Obviously, there's a need to lab more running and, and kind of what to do when the defense can stop your best run, have the quick pass, and all that stuff. So my, por my point by saying that is there's a need to identify your identity in Madden. And if you want to be a run first, you want to be a pass first, because only after you identify your identity can you identify the next four tips we're going to be talking about today, the next four concepts, the next four things that you need to do right now uh, to improve your game for Madden. So first things first is the need to identify your identity. All right, so number two on our list is we like to tell you to develop concepts. Uh, after you've developed your identity, you must develop your playbook. Now. For example, we see guys like me and S. Gibbs and other guys that are Madden commentators and do a lot of scheme breakdowns. We change our playbook pretty much week to week. And uh, but, but what you also see is you see a large majority of our plays are somewhat similar week to week in terms of the concept of the play. I mean, we always want to have a curl flat read at some, you know, if we're one running an out, we always want to have a flat route uh, to suck the zone down into cover three so that we can run beat man in zone. Or, you know, if we're going to run a deep streak, we always want to have a draft underneath so that we can create that that stretch of the defense different things like that concepts carry over and when you begin to develop concepts this is after you have identified your identity so you say okay well I want to run the ball okay well my concept now is to find one of my one of the things I want to start developing is how do I run the ball against how, what do my runs look like? Do I want to run zone weak runs or do I want to run power runs? So if I want to run zone runs, I'm going to be running a lot of stretches and zone weaks and inside zones and stuff like that. But if I want to run a lot of power runs, I'm going to be running a lot of power O's and quick tosses. It's just a difference in concepts, difference in philosophy, how you're going to be playing the game. Or if you want to pass a lot, do you want to throw deep, uh, more of a four verticals type passing attack, or do you want to attack underneath with stuff like spacing or inverted levels or levels or smash or all those other concepts? And you have to begin developing and fitting those together because concepts don't change. The playbook does. As I said in the beginning, oftentimes you see gamers change their playbook, but they don't actually change their concepts. Their concepts are the same. They just may do it from a different playbook because that playbook may provide them with more successful avenues to execute those concepts that they've been doing. Okay, uh, number three on our list, uh, probably the most important here, work on your progressions, work on your reads. Uh, probably the biggest thing you can do when preparing for a new game is trying to work on how defense and offense works. So you've been fitting your concepts together. So for example, one of the plays that I'm going to always have in my offense is a inverted, uh, excuse me, is a levels concept in combination with a curl flat concept. So you would have levels coming across the middle and the curl flat to the either side. So that's a, a concept that fits really well. But now I need to figure out how does that work in the, the post snap of the reads. So it's that play, the, a different player is going to be open against cover two, then is against cover three, then is against cover four, then is against cover two men under. There's all these different 
things the defense can do. And so a, a good way to identify some basic principles, some basic thought processes is to make a custom playbook that has the cover four as an audible, the cover three as an audible, the cover two as an audible, a co- and then the cover two men under as an audible, and then you come out in a zone blitz. And that gives you the ability to access all the different basic types of coverages that you're going to be able to see from formation to formation. Because while the difference in pressure, you're still going to get those same basic shells. And so what you want to start doing is you want to start identifying the safeties pre-snap. You want to start working on, okay, if I see this, then that means that it's going to be a cover two or a cover one. We've gone over that. There's a ton of resources. If you want to get better at identifying the coverages, you can go to smartfootball.com. You can stay right here at maddentips.com. Go to my YouTube channel. Go all over. You just have to Google how to read defensive coverages. And uh, we're going to be breaking that down as the series progresses. But right now, we're just talking about the basic concept. You need to be working on identifying reads. For example, and, and I've been talking a lot about offense, so I want to shift the focus real quick to defense. The way I would work on my read on defense is if I'm, for example, if I'm facing like a trips tight end formation, the trip side to the left side is going to be a little bit more dangerous than the right side. So if I'm in just say a generic cover three defense, that deep corner on the right side that's going to that deep blue middle of the that deep blue portion of the field isn't really needed because the tight end can't really attack me deep. So I might consider putting him into a hook zone and then take or maybe shading the safeties to that corner side so that I can have a little bit more strength to that side. Work on different things like that. Work on the the thought process, the mind of Madden, how you identify what you're going to do based. Based off what the other team is going to do. It's all about reading uh, the defense, reading the offense, different things that you can do pre-snap to get a good read and also post-snap. Uh, you know, if, if I see post-snap, the running back uh, makes a quick move as if he's going to get the ball, then I'm going to say that that's a run. Or if I see the fullback is kind of blocking and not going out and route, typically that's going to be a running play. Different things like that, but overall work on your reads. Okay. Number four on our list is stop being lazy. One thing I'm guilty of is being lazy in my setups and my adjustments. For example, sometimes I could be running the strong close halfback off tackle, which as we know is one of the better runs in Madden 25. And you know, I might get a read that I want to run it left, and so I'll playmaker my my run to the left side of the field because that's going to give me the best advantage to get positive yardage. But then, you know, a couple plays later, I'm, I'm still in the strong close, uh, but now I have a read where I want to run it right. Well, if you know anything about the strong close halfback off tackle, the run is a stock run to the right. So... With that in mind, I'm gonna I'm not gonna playmaker to the left because I'm just gonna run it to the right. Well, when I don't playmaker, that is a quick tell to my opponent that I don't. I'm, there's no way I can run the halfback off tackle to the left because there was no playmaker. So little things like that, you know, make everything look the same. Uh, always making things look the same is essential to Madden. It's essential to getting better in this game. And it's essential to improving in Madden 25. Uh, the importance of a scheme is making things look together. Uh, making things look similar together but do different things so for example one uh, one more example here so like on defense so say I'm going through and, and, and every time I send the blitz off the left edge I spread my linebackers okay but if I'm just gonna play coverage defense I don't really need to spread my linebackers so what that tells the opponent is that if I never spread my linebackers I'm always in coverage or if I always spread my linebackers then I'm gonna blitz so you want to get out of the habit of only doing the adjustments needed for that specific play and you want to learn how to adjust every single play as if you're running one play and work out work on getting every play to fit into the same look one quick real life example uh, if you go to twim 105 this week in madden uh, one of the things that s gibbs talked about was when one of the things that one of the weaknesses that t davis was doing with his 155 psycho defense was every time it seemed like he would press coverage he was always seeing pressure well one of the things that gibbs noticed is that he noticed that tendency and so later on in the game he hit him with a little quick pass dump to the back it's that is the importance guys it's even at the elite level we sometimes suddenly forget to make everything look the same that is very essential and i cannot stress that enough so a quick recap here of our top four tips so far uh, get an identity uh, develop concepts work on your reads and number four stop being lazy and our number five uh, tip for our top five men uh, 15 tips to improve overnight is get involved guys Madden is so much more than a game it is a community it is it is a life it's a lifestyle I mean it's it, if you want to be really good at Madden it, it doesn't have to be your life 
but it does have to it does have to be something that you put the time in you know it takes time to get good at these things um, all these things I'm talking about it takes time to do them um, now it doesn't take as much time as some of us put in uh, but it does take some time so maybe a lot an hour maybe an hour and a half a day to play some Madden but you don't have to always play online ranked matches you can you need to spend 30 minutes of practice mode and 30 minutes in online ranked or something like that but um, Guys, get involved on the forums. Get involved with the community in general. There are countless number of websites related to Madden. Countless number of YouTube channels. You know, I have my own YouTube channel. Uh, Gibson Farrells, of course, have theirs over Prima Games video. Uh, you can check out uh, Gibson Farrells right here on MaddenTips.com. Another thing that you guys can do is check out different blogs, different forums, all these different things. There's, I've listed a couple uh, in my uh, resources down here, but there's there's so many resources, so many free resources uh, that can get you better at the game, guys. Uh, learn from my experience. I was a player in Madden 20, in uh, Madden 12, who was more of a sim style play. Didn't really, uh, didn't really kind of transcend to the tournament scene, and uh, was never really something that I was even interested in. I was just, you know, playing the game, and then something clicked. And in Madden 13, I really started getting deep. I played as Gibbs on a stream, ended up beating it with one of my schemes, and then it just took off from there. And so I started following Gibbs, and I started following following. Uh, all sorts of every single Madden YouTube channel that I could find I would follow and every single website that I could find I would become a member and I would come home from school or whatever and I would just pop my computer on and I would look forum on every single forum on every single YouTube channel to see if there was some kind of something that I could consume that's what you guys need to be doing in Madden, 20, in Madden 15 in order to get better you have to get involved you have to as Gibbs says burn a calorie don't waste your resources Take advantage of them and pursue being a great player. Because if you if you just sit there, all, and, and again, that's another thing. When you're asking for questions, don't be that guy that's so disrespectful and just only talks about how he hates the game and blah, blah, blah because of X, Y, and Z. Be the guy that wants to make a change. Be the guy that wants to make a difference. Have a positive outlook on the game. Get involved, guys. Madden 25 is so much more than a game. It is a community. And Madden 15, I can't wait till it gets here. I do this every year, guys. Get back in the lab. Do all the top five tips, guys. We talked about them. Get an identity. The idea of, of getting an identity. Runner pass. Develop concepts. Work on your reads. Stop being lazy and get involved. Once again, Madden is so much more than a game. It is a community, and I cannot wait to see what Madden 15 has in store for us. Thank you for your time. Follow me on Twitter, at MaddenTips365. See you later.